Hey guys, Mr. Bullock here again with uh, Pythagorean Theorem. Uh, deals with right triangles, so let's go ahead and begin. We've got this right triangle right here, and sides A, B, and C. And you guys probably heard of this formula before, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Just make sure this C, you guys, is always opposite the right angle. That's the hypotenuse, you guys. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's use some of these, you guys. So find the missing piece. Uh, 3, 4, and X. And you probably, some of you guys already know the answer, but this is how come, you guys. You, you use the Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals X squared. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. And when you square root 25, you get X equals 5. It's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. We're, I'm going to be doing a video on Pythagorean triples um, after this, so check that one out too. That'll help you a lot with uh, right triangles. It helps you a lot with SAT skills too. Um, so uh, Pythagorean triples is a good video to watch after this. Okay, here's another one, you guys. Right triangle, okay. Now the hypotenuse is 15 this time, so it's going to be x squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. So uh, 144 is 12 squared, 225 is uh, 15 squared. Subtract, subtract 144, and you get x squared equals 81. So when I square root 81, I hope you guys know it's 9. Square to 81 is 9. Okay, here's one where we don't get nice, perfect uh, squares. So uh, you get you have to simplify uh, your square root feature. Okay, so here uh, 20 is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to go ahead and go 10 squared plus y squared equals 20 squared. 10 squared is 100. 20 squared is 400. And then I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides, and you get 300. And then that's not a nice, perfect square, you guys. So what you have to do um, is square root 300. And uh, a lot of books do not want decimals, and in fact, uh, I, I would like you guys to learn how to do, or, or remember how to do, simplify radicals. So if you're in my class, you'd simplify radicals. And the easiest way to teach these guys is by factor trees. You guys remember factor trees, prime factorization? Here's 300. 300 is the same as 30 times 10. And those aren't prime, so let's break down 30. 30 is 6 times 5, and 10 is 2 times 5. And 6 is still not prime, so let's break that down to 2 times 3. So now I'm going to exchange this 300 over here with all of the prime numbers that we got. And I highlighted them in red. Can you see these are all my prime numbers? And I just put them in order right there. So here's 300 right here. And then when you uh, simplify a radical, you need 2 on the inside that brings 1 of them on the inside, outside. See these two twos? They bring one two on the outside. And here I have two fives right there. They're going to bring one five on the outside. And since the three doesn't have a three to match up, it stays inside the radical. So go ahead and multiply two times five, and you get ten root three. Okay, uh, let's try this one here. Okay, this one has x in two features. It has an x on this leg right here and an x on the hypotenuse. Let's go ahead and do the Pythagorean theorem. And we get x squared plus 7 squared equals the hypotenuse, x plus 1 squared. Be careful, you guys. A lot of students want to just square x and square 1. It's actually a binomial, you guys, and you got to write it twice because you have to foil that out. Don't forget about your outers and inners when you're foiling that, you guys. Of course, 7 squared is 49. So when I foil that out, I get uh, uh, x squared plus 1x plus 1x plus 1, outer times outer, inner times inner, last times last. And then I'll combine like terms there on the right. And then now uh, the x squareds will cancel. So I'm just left with 49 because I subtracted x squared from both sides, you guys. Uh, 49 equals 2x plus 1. Then subtract 1, you get 48. Divide by 2, you get x equals 24. Okay, don't forget to check out uh, the one on Pythagorean triples. That one will be very helpful with you guys on, on your right triangles and solving things. Uh, also help you on the SAT.